Hey there, I'm Critzy Bear. Welcome back to Dwarf Fortress. Last time I was working on a melt order to automatically break down uh, metal objects that are no longer useful to the fort. Uh, now that's been completed, I'm sure my dwarves will do it. Uh, it's set to do one at a time, uh, provided there's a surplus of, of fuel. You know, I want to make sure that there's enough for like strange moods and stuff, uh, or like uh, the Duke demanding things. Which reminds me, I should probably check it. Did you just pick up a, a toy and, like, immediately get bored of it? Whatever. Anyway, um, so I actually... Oh, yo, look, there it is. Uh, anyway, so I actually looked up uh, off-camera. I, I went and recycled my world into a Legends world for a minute uh, to finally study up on Losta Cloister Taper, who at first seemed entirely unremarkable, right? Like, it, her legends were that she was a uh, bobcat woman who found dwarven civilization around the year, like, 40. Uh, it's 318 right now. Around the year 40, she found dwarven civilization and started wandering around until she finally um, volunteered herself as a scout for a uh, dwarven uh for, for a dwarven government location thing you know a vague dwarven site whatever it was at the time anyway so she volunteered as a scout as like this kind of like animal person wanderer who like uh, kind of got to know and love dwarven people and like became like a vague uh, worshipper of their gods, um, casting specifically. Anyway, so volunteered as a scout for, um, a fort or Halux or something at the time. And only like a few years after the bitter ones, which we're having a problem with now, um, attacked the fort. And in that attack, which the fort survived, Losta was killed, like, defending a dwarven fortress as a bobcat woman who, like, actually spent time wandering around and getting to know dwarves. So I guess it's, like, kind of like a folk hero kind of person. Oh, hey, yo, it's almost Emusha's birthday! That's what I was waiting for! Yo, where is it? Hey, I'm, wait I'm waiting for the number to take up to eight. Man, days are taking longer than I expected. Yo! There it is. I don't know. I, I guess, uh... I, just to confirm, it is the 8th of... Oh. Oh, no. Something... Something's going on with Amush, actually. She's, like, having some kind of existential moment. Anyway, so, 11 years old, born on the 8th of Opal in the year 307. Oh, uh, maybe... Maybe she's, uh... You know, maybe the day has to end... But, like, on her 12th birthday, she's remembering having a friend, uh, horrified, reliving, being tormented by the dead. You know, when she read a, a poetry to the zombie, uh, didn't feel anything playing pretend anymore. She was blissful, remembering performing, didn't feel anything due to inebriation, glum after getting into an argument. Okay, so she's still thinking about the argument. Uh accepting, remembering being forced to drink to vomit, and mulling over recurring memory changed her personal tendencies. Ooh. So, like, uh, she's starting to, like, get over some of her worst childhood memories, I guess? Fondness, remembering getting uh, a sibling uh, after seeing it. Lots of dead animals in her life. Uh, felt love remembering talking to her father. Okay. So, well, hang on. What's what's her uh, what's what's her takeaway from her like childhood experience of having to drink like cave water down in the laundry area, which she's gonna like you know you kids have it so easy these days with your imported beer. When I was a little dwarfling, I had to drink laundry water. It tasted like vomit. <clears throat> anyway, due to being forced to drink vomit in 313, uh, she personally sees concealment of emotions as a betrayal 
and has never and tries her best never to associate with such secretive fools. So she gets like really upset when people try to hide their emotions after uh, having a childhood where she uh, had to drink puke. Um, so, uh, you know, honestly, doesn't sound like that bad of a leader. Uh, you know, if she's like empathetic and like gets honestly upset when people try to try to like, uh, you know, conceal their true feelings about things. Neat. Why isn't she older, though? Uh, right? It's, yeah, it's the ninth of Opal now. Why, uh, why is, why is Imush still a child? She's, uh, she's supposed to be 12. She's 11 years old, born on the 8th of Opal in the year 307. It's, yeah, it's 318. Yeah, you know, she's supposed to, yo. Imush, you're supposed to grow up now. Huh? What? Did you just steal someone's toy? You just, like, walk into someone's house and take their toys, dude. I wonder what happens if a dwarf grows up with a toy in their hand. Why are you so slow, too? Hmm. Maybe it's, like, a size thing? I'm honestly confused about this. Oh, hang on. Uh, how's the water project? Uh, oh, it's done. I oh, just gotta wait for all this to dry up. It will eventually. Um, I wish it was easier to get in there and do it. Uh, where, where's, where's Imush? Also, I gotta give her, like, a talent to master, because if I can, like, uh, give her mastery over a skill early on, I could, like, really expose her to pretty much any negative circumstances, and she would remain, like, a stable rock. So, like, if I could somehow like prop her up in a position where she's like getting all kinds of friends and stuff making her really like popular i imagine uh, maybe her like uh her, her like empathetic nature let me just check actually how high her actual empathy like stat is never sick quick to heal very strong durable god dang uh great patience little willpower clumsy okay so she doesn't like have a a super high empathy or anything it's just that's more of like an opinion sort of thing we'll have to see in the future um i didn't know that it would just like not show to oh my god her poor dad is he even asleep still oh yeah he is poor dude is covered in bruises after fighting an elementary schooler Oh, another uh, monster killer. Sure. Ooh, so what's your thoughts? Uh, dejected after being unable to pray. Self-pity after being unable to craft. Dejected after being unable to acquire things. In a good bedroom. Blissful after sleeping in a good bedroom. Man, a mush is like... A mush has like such fond memories of her dad's bedroom. Like, she's... She's like considers it a personal pet. What are you doing up there? A anyway, she considers it like a personal palace, and like she's, she she's she's like just, she's put up with a lot in her life, that, only that amazing bedroom got her through. Playing in the hospital, huh? Ooh, cave crocodile fighting, uh, giant cave toad. Not anything I have to worry about. If they, if they try to come into my fort, I'll just, you know, catch them. Have a nice thing to go in a zoo. Ooh, another piglet. Have it go at it. Maybe I should have a mush start taming animals. I mean, we don't have a shortage. Um, and if I kept the half-tamed adult pigs around... Well, it just depends on if a mush actually grows up. Oh, hello. Oh, yo. Uh, Kadol here has been taken by a fey mood. Where, where is he? Yo, he's so fast. Let him go. Down to the workshops. Yeah. Oh, anyway. Um, yeah, a mush wants to master a skill, so... Like, if I could just, like, get her something easy to master, like, uh, masonry or something like that. 
I wonder how I could like get her to have some boars for pets. <gasps> having her tame them, um, having her tame them would mean that they would stick around with her one way or another. Maybe. I just wish you could assign them like work animals, but like there's no form of training you can give them, which sucks. You know, it's going to be really cool when we get like mounts in this game. Can you imagine like having some kind of dwarven uh dwarven disability where every dwarf who loses his his ability to stand gets like a a free war boar to ride? Dude, I would I would instill it. Look at the, how fast these dudes are. Even the babies are like super speedy and they're supposed to be smaller. So dang. <laughs> Imagine the babies are, like, the size of a regular pig. I could probably, like, butcher them straight out of the... Okay, well, now this is getting into messed up dwarf talk. So, I'm gonna quiet myself. Uh, anyway, how's the how's the project going? Oh, kid's still looking for ingredients. Okay. Oh, that's cloth. I thought it was somebody going to the hospital. I was about to be worried. How much water we got in here? Three out of seven. Oof. Oof! I don't know if it's going anywhere. I might have to drain it. Hmm. Uh, I, you know, I can just clean it up. The big concern was, uh, post irrigation mess, but I suppose. Ah, uh, I can try to clean it up after. Why is there blood here, guys? What are you doing? Also a bard. No thanks. Although, I don't know, some of my old bards are probably going to uh, fully integrate soon. I should probably let them in. You know, honestly... Now that I think it through, I mean, I'm sure it's just, like, weird dwarf behavior that this is going on, like the Losta cloister taper popularity in this fort, but thinking about it realistically, Southgate here is a fort that doesn't get many dwarven immigrants, and, like, half of our population is, like, being propped up by, like, poets and artists from all sorts of, like, dwarf-friendly nations, even some bitter ones themselves, and, like, our biggest hero our most popular folklore he hero here is a bobcat woman who loved dwarven kind so much that she decided to lay down her life in defense of like one of our earliest settlements so honestly thinking about it realistically that does actually sound like a reasonable hero for a community that's like got like a 25 percent immigrant uh, amount here it sounds like a really cool thing that uh, makes sense. But again, I'm sure it's just weird dwarf behavior that they just keep engraving the same thing over and over. It's an old story, too. Like, <clears throat> I'm wondering if people are, like, writing songs about her or something, and that's, like, why she's so prevalent. I looked in her, uh... I looked in her, uh, legends, and she's only got, like... 20 years of history like it the first thing she does is like display a curiosity about dwarves and then like 10 to 20 years later is the siege on the fort that she loves so much which she dies in anyway where's Imush? why is Imush still not growing up it's next month dude She's supposed to be 12. She still says she's 11. It's it's the month after Opal. It's Obsidian. Oof. Also, why is this pile not uh, containing anything? It's supposed to have prepared food? Yeah. Uh, does it... It doesn't actually take. I see. I see. All right. There. And you take from... There. There. That should fix it, right? That should, like, actually bring meals up there, I hope. 
I still don't I don't know what's wrong. Whatever, guys. Whatever. Who's fighting? Cobalt Bitter One. Uh looks like somebody just uh messed up in the dungeon. Somebody tripped. Ha! <laughs> Idiot. Uh yo, let's gather all this stuff up. I guess, you know, if if we've got mushrooms and stuff growing down here, might as well eat them. You know, you know, if you see mushrooms growing on your floor because like you had a water leak and and like some mysterious moss is growing there, you just go ahead and eat the mushrooms. You, you know, I mean, odds are uh, it's edible. Well, I mean, if you're a dwarf, I th I think I think probably. <laughs> Also, the artifacts getting made. I'm excited to see what it is. So how's that melting coming? Are we like, have we like worked through the metal objects? No, still working on it. Is this the same dude? I'm pretty sure the last one was the Fair Helms. Also, uh, let me find one of those poets. Gosh. Uh, unless all of my recent immigrants were soldiers. But no, I'm, I'm pretty sure there should be... Ah, here's an elf poet. I don't know. Perhaps I should wait. Well, if I made an elf poet a blacksmith, he would be making elf-sized clothes. I wonder if there's any way to, like like make a clever system to make properly sized clothes for my different races or if i'm gonna like have to have like a elven smithing league and a a, a human smithing league all of their own so that like and like alternate which ones are active in order to make sure i have clothes for my people It'd be nice if, like, Fortress Residents had, like, some method of standardizing clothes size. Here, let's remove all these. Do these markers. Remove these constructions. Should be safe. <gasps> Don't do that one yet. Also... Yeah, I believe this is right, yeah. I think I did want the whole wall gone, right? Yeah, I think so. Too bad if I don't. Oh no, that's going to ruin the mud. No, wait, right, I already got rid of the ramps in advance. Cool. Um, Created, what is it? Dalethkez Kestig Igom. Ooh, Kestig is one of our gods. Uh, Bayberry Puzzle Box. She claims it as an heirloom. I don't not have any cat ladies on it. I saw it immediately. My tr my eyes were drawn directly towards it. This has two pictures of Losta on it. Two. One in wood, one in copper, which is actually kind of sounds kind of pretty. Like I'm imagining maybe like uh Maybe like like maybe it's like the kind of puzzle box that like changes like maybe it tells a story like as you finish the puzzle it like changes pictures to like one's Losta migrating there the next is Losta doing some heroic shit our favorite folk hero strikes again oh yeah yeah <laughs> look at how fast those boars are they're just zooming around my fort. I should really, like, uh, chain some boars up in strategic spots once I get some. Yeah, because, like, uh, for instance, for instance, this spot right here, um, like, having one, like, right here would pretty much guarantee that anyone who's going into the vault is going to get sniffed by a boar. Uh, so nobody's going to be able to, like, really sneak there, and I'm hoping maybe I should put boars where... Um, all of my guards are stationed so that my guards, uh, can, like, have boars tank for them while they shoot, uh, bows, or crossbows, rather. Also, it looks like we are getting, uh, metal done. How much do we have so far? I'm not seeing a single bar of metal, guys. 
What? Where is it? You've been at this for ages. G guys. Where's our metal? Can I even make anything yet? Steel. I wanted a, like a full set, like, uh, you know, breastplate leggings. I'm thinking maybe I can like put like leather clothes under it and a leather cloak maybe i should go all out and like try to extract the special metal for uh emush hmm cuz i mean i'm sure i could do it relatively safety safely and if not i can uh have like safety measures in place ha well, let's see if we have enough steel to, like, make one thing. I want to put Emush in, like, full steel, and I want to, like, see if I can get it, like, fancy, too, perhaps, if I, if possible. I know that Emush's favorite metals are black bronze, so if I could, like, get steel decorated with black bronze, I would be thrilled. Do we even have a blacksmith, though, uh, is the thing. I'm not seeing anyone work on it. Is the old metal there? Okay, so the metal is going somewhere then, right? Or is it like uh, being added to a, a pile here? Like a like a accumulating thing? Because I know that there's like abstract integers for melted objects, right? And these guys are like melting one copper bolt. What are you doing? What do you just do there? Oh, it's a child. Ch children do as they please. So that's fine. That's reasonable. Uh, Captain of the Guard there, uh, Emush still not growing up, it's about the about to be the end of the year. Also, we can rebuild that wall. There you go. Get that block. Yeah. Um, anyway. Yeah, let's get plots. Oh, beautiful. Yes. Yes, it's working exactly as expected. Is that... whatever. I'm not sure if I'm getting them the uh, proper full length or not, but I'm sure it doesn't actually matter. I mean, it would have mattered right there, but whatever. There. So it's uh, eight plots here that we can probably fit some decent stuff in. I'm going to smooth this, I think. Or should I not smooth the floors? Maybe smooth them in uh, only certain spots? Mm. I don't know. Well, I want to make sure we don't smooth where the mud is there, at least. And we also got to dump out all these rocks. And I want to make sure we don't uh, don't get rid of this. Oh, God, how big was it supposed to be? I can't remember. And these rocks are in the way. Um, mud, mud, mud. Okay. So, like, uh, this far. There. And to there? We'll see how that looks. And then I need to dump all the, the rocks too. Uh, D, B, D. Also from in there too. Yeesh. Yeah, I've been putting this labor off. It's probably going to take a minute. It's kind of uh, better to do it like on the spot, but eh, whatever. Oh, yo! One of the uh, one of the poets I was talking about. I wanted to make and make another uh, laborer of some kind. How about you become a uh, farmer? Yeah, humans are good at farming, right? That's like uh, that's why they call it long uh, long land grass, right? Because it's from the land of the long leggers. Yeah, they they got long legs and it's long land. 
right? I have this thing up here, this hole. I'm going to forget about it, and I, I, I need to fix it, but whatever. Wait, is that blood up here? No. What? Okay. Why are people, like, bleeding in places? <laughs> Look at these pigs! Just run right in. Jeez. Let me rush. Oh my god, the tavern's almost empty. The you the the the, 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 the human the, the human criminal? <laughs> I'm sorry. You're not even gonna like make up a profession. You're just gonna say you're you're the you're the criminal. I'm the highway man. I make ends meet. Man, I recently watched uh, Over the Garden Wall. Like, I, I never saw it. Like, I, I didn't really watch TV when it came out. So, like, I ha I didn't see it until recently. Like, I heard, like, a synopsis of, like, one scene. And I was like, oh, that sounds like exactly the kind of thing I would like. And, man, like, the humor in it is, like, exactly my cup of tea. But, like, you know, it does have some kind of spooky elements. I feel like I'm gonna be like one of those people who makes it into like a Halloween tradition. I heard, I heard that's a somewhat common thing to do, and I, I might do it too. Oh, item blocking sight here, huh? Blocking the uh, blocking the sight here, huh? Who's blocking this sight? Whoa, 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 whoa! What's that right there? Well, let's puke wine and blood. Why? Why is the floor so dirty there? Uh oh, forgotten beast fighting. Uh, fighting a crocodile. Look at all these bodies! Oh my god! We need like an another ogre hero or something. What's this forgotten beast looking like? Um, hairy snail, wings of skin, bloated body, dark hair. It's not even like. It's not even special. It's just a snail, a hairy snail. Oh, yo, boar grew up. Nice. More breeding potential. Soon we'll be getting more uh, tame piglets than regular piglets. Yo, look at them go. <laughs> They're so happy to see him. They're piling all over him. Poor Etur. Oh, God. <laughs> I made him tame every single one personally. What are you doing? Oh, Siggy's uh, coming to help Itter. Another one of my original dwarves? Like, well, not original, but like one of the old ones. Uh, but I never actually bothered to, like, pay attention to Siggy. I don't know how Siggy's life been doing. Oh, I wanted to look up the happiest dwarf, right? In, in this dwarven paradise here. Let me open up my dwarf fortress folder here and get df hack up there so it's on my screen not your I'm, I'm sorry where'd it go there we go it's on my screen not yours and i want to sort by happiness there it is the happiest dwarves are the absolute happiest dwarf is Fikad, who is at negative 55,000 stress. It, I'm, I'm just like briefly checking. No, no, he's not the most happy dwarf. Okay, no, the happiest dwarf is Unib, who is at negative 100,000. Negative 100,000 stress. <laughs> uh, Unib? Within last season, content being near a waterfall, pleasure remembering a fine pillar. Uh, uh, didn't feel anything about not being able to acquire anything, uh, about not being able to acquire a crap. You know what, actually? Unib? I'm going to go ahead and give you a craft. You can be one of our new blacksmiths. Yeah, how you think about that? Go ahead and melt some metal. 
make some armor. Yeah, there you go. You want to craft? So be it. You know, I've been saving labors for bored dwarves, haven't I? Sure. Oh, hey, elves. Never mind. No merchants. Just one elf. Because technically, the merchants haven't left. Yeah, I'll let it. I'll let a uh, a bard a bard group named the Malicious Cuts or something immigrate. You know, it's like a punk band. I'm gonna introduce my uh, dwarves to some like real, like exciting music. We pride ourselves on on our different cultures around. It. What did what did he do? What did Destot do? <laughs> um, justice. What did he do? He hasn't done anything. There was no combat report. He's not convicted of anything. Oh, that stop has violated a production order. From the Duke. What did the Duke ask for? I don't even think that guy could have made anything. <laughs> Wait, I'm sorry. I I gave you an office, right? I guess I must have never assigned it. There you go. And I made this into a barracks, yeah. I haven't used this archery range yet. A poet, too? You're arresting one of the poets? Why? Uh, who is that? Uh, that's Cobim. Report, uh, no. Justice. Cobim, Cobim, Cobim. Cobim. Actually did commit a crime. Well. He he had some kind of like tantrum or something. Greetings from the woodlands. We can uh let's see ask that you uh stop your tree fells at one hundred. Man, I haven't even cut one hundred trees in this entire playtime. One hundred and twenty-three trees. I didn't even like ask, I, I didn't even ask for you to bargain with me. You're a hard bargainer. One hundred trees. Oh, okay. Yeah, sure. We can do that. Damn it! You've really twisted my arm. One hundred and twenty-three. No higher. Okay. Oh, they're not going to be happy with me for this one, but I can put in a good word for you. We can part with one hundred and fifty trees. Not a single twig more. No, please don't get yourself in trouble. Yeah, you know what? I think I'm going to smooth the uh, in-between ones, too. Just feeling like it's going to look better. You know, I thought maybe it would like look like a, you know, dirt plot or something around like a planter or something like that, but nah. Also, uh, unsus unsuspend that one. There you go. I'm not going to plant anything until they're all ready. Is that one suspended? Yes. Is that one? Yes. Any other ones? Doesn't look like it. I didn't put anything here, did I? No, that's just smears of blood and vomit. <laughs> this guy, these guys are filthy. What's happening here? Holy shit! This entire thing is covered in blood. There's teeth in the drain. My dwarves are filthy and violent. Anyway, anyone make a... Uh, yo, somebody made the thing, didn't they? Or did they cancel it? Um... Cancel, give water. 
What do you mean, need empty bucket? First of all, we have plenty of buckets. Second of all... Huh? Who needs water? Yo, you do need water. Why are you not getting him water? Huh? Whatever, I... I guess I'll make this another water source. In the hopes that you'll do your job. Oh no, wait, no, don't smooth that. Don't, oh no, don't smooth that. What are you doing? Did I ask for them to smooth those? Shoot. Oh no, I already smoothed it on this side. Dang it, I'm an idiot. Ugh, whatever, I guess do smooth that. Oops. Wait, hang on. You're not smoothing the... There's more tiles to smooth. Why aren't you smoothing those? Like those two... These two tiles. Muddy cave moss. Muddy floor fungus. Smooth those? Unless I gotta put in, uh, like... I need to put in some floors. Yeah. Ugh. Didn't get it fast enough here whatever no that's a wall dummy <laughs> you know I could probably put some benches in there make it pretty instead where are they where's the benches maybe I could make it into a zoo uh, you know, actually, uh, if I wanted to do that, I would want maybe, like, a proper, um, like, animal section. And then, like, I would want to put the zoo on the way through. Like, I'm thinking either leading off of here and then, like, connecting down here so that it's close to the, uh, the dungeon, right? So, like, I'm thinking zoo around here, like, around here with, like, a stairwell right here so that we can get from the zoo to the farmer's workshop. So zoo here, and then some kind of like animal taming slash maybe uh, fungus grove down here. On this level, probably, because this level I wanted to uh, have library stuff in, right? Even though this is now looking like a very unsafe place. I don't know. Right, I wanted to work on a trader uh, tunnel. I think maybe I do that next. We'll see. Yo, it's the next year. Where's Emush? Why is Emush uh, still a child? She is 12 years old. I'm pretty sure dwarves grow up at 12. Dwarf Fortress... Adulthood. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Oh, sorry. Uh, yeah, 12 years of age. Hmm. No oh, giant ohm fighting? Oh, one of the monster hunters is hunting monsters. Isn't that something? Yo, the ohm uh, might have just got, might have just killed it. Yo, cool monster hunting, man. He, he's dead. Go ahead and forbid that. Just real, real quick there. Hopefully, monster hunters don't haunt my fort. Oh, yo, that Ulm has a name now. <laughs> I was hoping to, um... I was hoping that... And Musha's uh, exploits would appear on her kill screen, because I know that she's killed uh, the Ulm, but I guess since it was just an animal, it's not going to show up until she kills her first person, which is a whole different thing. I never checked. Uh, did the armor get made? I honestly don't know, because I don't know where they're putting these bars and stuff. Oh god, there's lots of damaged clothes in here. I should put, like, a proper garbage pile somewhere. Maybe, uh, maybe the corpses, right? Maybe, because I'm... Would that 
make it so that the corpses decay? We'll see. Because I'm pretty sure the special thing about refuse piles is they uh, cause things in them to decay, right? I hope that's it. Whatever. At least it uh, gives us a place for all our fucking, like, piles of bodies. Yo, Spear Dwarf? Yo, did you kill the Olm? Oh, he's trying. Oh, he's trying. The Olm looks like he's suffered some organ damage, which is a good start for the uh, Hammer Dwarf. Hammer Dwarf might have, like, lost... I mean, Spear Dwarf might have lost, like, a finger or something, though, because it looks like he's in pain, but, like... No? Oh, must have, like, uh... Maybe, like, cracked an elbow or something? Olm's trying to retreat to the water. Eh. Oh. Good hunting, buddy. You're... No. He actually checked the water. <laughs> he actually tried to fight the Olm in his own turf. Oh, boy. Are you going to the hospital? Can you, like, give our, our uh, hospital dwarves, like, uh, some practice? That would be lovely if, like, you actually stopped by the hospital for a checkup. Please? Not gonna, are you? We'll see. Depends on if, uh, like, he leaves in shame or, oh god, they're they're moving everything into the into the garbage pile, like even the bodies from outside. Uh, human maceman's been missing for a week. Yeah, I know what happened to him. Wait, that guy didn't report his body? Suspicious. I'm sorry I said that. I'm really sorry. It's at, this is a this is a low point for me. Oh god. I hope these decay. Oh, there's the body. Why aren't you feeding these people? Where's the buckets? We have plenty of water everywhere. There's water everywhere. The prisoners. They they need water. What? What are you doing? There's 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 uh. <gasps> are we out of booze? What the fuck? Oh no. Oh no. What happened? What happened? Oh, God! Well, I mean, it doesn't uh, change the fact that these guys are supposed to be, like... Supplied. Like, I mean, I've been buying all the food I can. I guess, uh, time for an herbalism rush. Holy cow. Could you, like, please grab some water, though? Oh, everyone's busy, uh... Busy ga grabbing garbage. <laughs> grabbing garbage. Did you go back for more? No. I must have just, like, not pressed the, uh... Confirm button on that or something. The, uh, report button on that. Or something, rather. I mean, it doesn't change the fact that we have multiple water piles... Uh, our water piles. Water sources, and they should be gathering water. Right? I'm gonna need a atom smasher in here. Did you just, you're butchering something? What do you have in there? Oh, what? Butcher an animal? Well, it's just the horn, dude. What are you What are you talking about? Oh god, there have been so many animals killed on our land. If animals could leave ghosts, we would be mighty haunted. Maybe, like, what that- oh my god, there's four more yaks! Yeesh. <laughs> anyway, maybe what happened there was, like, the entire goat- melted away except the horns so 
we we were technically butchering horns. Are we like salvaging the bones from these or something? Like the butchery shop seems to be mighty active. I think we are. Which is cool. I didn't think that uh dwarves would use old bodies. I thought they had to like die by our hand in order for dwarves to use them for any kind of crafting or food. I mean, that's neat. Also looks like uh, maybe labor is freeing up a little bit. Perhaps we can gather those plants now. Also need some floors and stuff. Oh, material, stone. There, there, and there. Be gathering plants, please. A nice. Next, I'll have you uh, gather in the basement down here. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. Uh, just real quick. Intruders, eh? Intruder, eh? There's multiple skeletons out here. Oh. No, never mind. He's fine. Yeah, he's okay. Hey, Anmo. Uh, nice of you to pay us a visit. Are, are we fine now? You just walked right by him, and Anmo's fine. Okay. Hey, Anmo. Hey, neighbor. Oh, you, you... You just left. I didn't even have to go on alert this time. What lovely, what a lovely community we have around here. I'm glad we decided to move here. What a lovely village. Came over to borrow a cup of sugar. Oh, yo, the farm's ready. All right, so first of all, we definitely need plump helmets. Spring, summer, autumn, spring, summer, autumn. Tons of plump helmets. Maybe sweet pods, sweet pods, sweet pods, and sweet pods. And then I think uh, what kinds of herbs we could grow in the winter. Can't grow any in the winter. Uh, I do want pigtails too. Although that uh, I do have a concern about them. Um, follow there we go. I do have a concern about them building up and i'm gonna be too lazy to process them all and like find things to do with them and i'm gonna feel like i'm uh, neglecting my fort i think next time we get visited by a dwarven merchant i'm gonna buy some quarry nuts some rock nuts Yo, where's that where's that longlander is he still in the dungeon oh you wacky longlander look at you how are you feeling about this angry I should make like a, I should make a temple down here. Think about it. Prisoners come in, they're angry. Maybe I assign a, a, a priest to the temple as like the temple's performer. And he comes down here, the angry dwarves can attend a meeting with him and like, uh, get some uh, positive feelings out of their experience, uh, even if they're angry. Like, you know, cried on the shoulder of a priest or whatever the happy thought is. Maybe. I mean, even in the dungeon, even Cobham hasn't fallen below uh, content. You can see on the lower right there's a, oh, there's like a vague indication of your fort's happiness. I mean, I don't like that more than half is just content. That's like a suboptimal, but it is what it is. Yo, did I ever make the steel breastplate? Like, I, I can't find it anywhere. Armor. Armor. Steel, please. Enhanced steel. Steel cap, steel shield, steel. See, I ordered these things to be melted, but. Steel helm. Steel gauntlet. Where's the. Steel bars. 
Maybe I didn't have enough at the time. Unfortunately, the uh, steel pickaxes and stuff are in people's inventories, so can't really use those. If I tied boars up to like here and here, I think they would be able to like hang out here and not obstruct the wagon. I think I might do that. Restraint. I have so many ropes. Whatever. I don't think I have to worry about these guys running away. Uh, you know what? I'm going to do it when I have more boars. Like, I want to have, like, at least 10 boars growing up every year, okay? I want to get, like, absurd breeding numbers here. So that I can, like, use disposable boar pawns. Like, I mean, these dudes got tusks, and they're more likely to be enraged than frightened. So, that's that's why I'm I want to use them for, uh... Fighting. Plus, you know, regular sized boars in real life are already like pretty crazy. I imagine uh, giant boars, ridiculous. Make two shields. Make two shields. Yeah, let's not make a <laughs> let's not make a steel shield. Uh, so leather shield. Just two for for now. Real quick. I wish those elves would bring me food, but, like, this guy. What if I dig a pit under him? I'm getting sick of him. I'm getting sick of this guy. Look at this smug dude. Look at that smug guy right there, hmm? Look at him. I'm getting sick of him. I'm gonna dig a hole under him, I think, just because I have no other choice, really. I can just, like, cover the hole back up. I'm digging a hole under him. Because he needs to get out of my fort. Stop freeloading. Like, you know, it's, ba it's classic elves. Freeloading off my dwarven infrastructure. Drop him in the hole. There you go. No, there you don't. What are you doing? The horse left. The horse left. Now I have a bigger problem. Where'd the goods go? His clothes are gonna rot off his body. The horse has lost all its goods. Who are you now? Are you even a visitor still? horse. Yeah, no, it's a merchant. Can you please leave? Can I arrest Lita? Just wondering, uh, theft of the greater cell convicted the mayor. Already? I already convicted him? Okay. Uh, violation of production order. Oh, man. Uh, viol <laughs> dead dude. Violated the, uh, okay, whatever. I'm looking for a crime that hasn't been convicted yet. I, there is none. Shucks. So, like, I don't think it would work anyway. It might start a conflict with the war, uh, with the elves, if I seal that guy in and then, like, use DF hack to fill the tile with lava. I have a perfect idea. Why cheat? Why cheat? When I could encourage the elf to leave, I can... Gently urge it to get out of the hole. 
I'm sure it'll work out great. You Have you worked together what my plan is yet? Well, you'll see. You know, I once heard a rumor that uh, elves will actually uh, float on water, and that's like that's like how you can tell them apart from like uh, you know regular dwarves. You know, because both are small. So, I mean, elves are even smaller than dwarves. So, therefore, I mean, how do you know it's because they're skinny? Maybe it's because they're like actually munchkin sized. Maybe the reason elves and dwarves hate each other is because like they're they're part of, like, the same overall, like, species. You know, like, the difference between, like, you know, uh, noble orangutans and, uh, bloodthirsty mandrills. You know, it's... I mean, like, that's the most fair comparison I can make. You know? <laughs> uh, and, and, like, and, like, you know, maybe that's why there's so much animosity. It's because, like, you know, you constantly got elves coming into dwarven society... Uh, you know, pretending to be dwarves. They're munchkins, though. It's insulting. I mean, they've convinced my dwarves to steal for them so many times. It's honestly made me uh, consider banning all non-dwarves from the fort. Except, except the ones that are, are cool, the ones that are already living here. Those ones can stay, because we know that those guys aren't stealing things, unless they're on a real long con. <laughs> I mean, I'm pretty sure it's possible. Need empty bucket. Why, when did we lose buckets? Oh, yo, they're planting stuff. Nice. Um, Kindly. Bucket, please. I don't know, uh, fucking five copper buckets. Regents. Dang, I don't have enough copper. All right, maybe a different one then. Um, maybe just regular bucket. Five more buckets. I mean, you know, it, it, I predicted that, you know, eventually I would have to make more general tools. Like, I'm sure eventually I'll need to make more mugs. I, I made kind of like, I don't know, like 50 mugs at the beginning, and then, like, just I haven't made any more sense. Also, there's, like, a ridiculous number of empty barrels piled up in there. I'm thinking maybe I, I put a barrel stockpile down here. Just, it just feels right, you know? Uh, so that I don't have as, as many barrels just, like, sitting in barrel purgatory. Like, neither used nor empty? It's it's weird. Anyway, there's uh, where I'm going to put the barrels. Did I want to open up this whole wall? I feel like I might not have wanted to. I feel like I might want to, like, put some pillars around. Uh, but not have, like, a huge open face cavern in this little greenhouse thing. Yo, there's empty barrels. Uh-oh. Hang on. Did I... Uh-oh. <laughs> I have way too much furniture. Uh, didn't I already make an empty barrel stockpile? I swear I did. Maybe I did it, like... Maybe I planned it, and, like, I never actually did it on camera, so I never remembered to... Where's barrels? Oh, there it is. It was blocked by my cord. Conveniently, the exact spot. There. Stop putting assorted furniture in the furniture stockpile. No! There's so many dwarves already in transit. I just wanted barrels. Yeesh. But there. Alright, do whatever, do whatever you want, I guess. Cool. Half the stockpile is full. What? Yellow bed? Oh, it's fungi wood. A uh, fungi wood. Fungi wood. I like how the dwarves still prefer to go under the waterfall. Uh, even though there's like a path, a shortcut straight through the food stockpile if they want to take it. 
you know, as, mu as much as it annoys me to, like, see dwarves, like, walking around suboptimal pathing areas, I just, you know, I have trust in them. They they can find their way around. They've got, like, dwarven senses that show them the entire fort's layout. I hate that that second water wheel doesn't turn. I wish we had more water in here. I were to open this. Tis possible. Tis possible I could expand the water flowing in because, like, right now I'm realizing, you know, I've got like five different inlets downstairs, but this tile is getting full anyway, and I don't think the uh, water can flow through if it's full. So I'm thinking we might, like, need to uh, do some fancy stuff here. Like that. And there. I'm thinking like there. Do you think I could put a door right there? Would I need to? Because I'm not sure if, like, the, uh, the pressure is going to be an issue. Because, ugh. I could always put, like, an emergency gate right here. To, like, completely seal this chamber off if I ever need to. Even though it's, like, an important stairwell. Oh, boy. Perhaps I don't even open this area, huh? Perhaps I don't. We leave this closed in. First, though, I'm going to need to, like, put a way down here. I don't see any way to open it without doing a tile like that. Maybe I can build a wall over it. So like a, like a path like that for now, but I do think I want to expand it. And I'm thinking once we have that hole, we dig down on another tile. I'm gonna make it, make the path a little different. Okay. I don't know. Just to be wacky. Cold bitter one? Not a problem. How you doing there? How you doing there, elf? You look a little damp. Taking a bath? Yo, my dwarves love bathing. I mean, you wouldn't know anything about it, but, you know, they find it re relaxing. I'm sure you'll love it. Okay, anyway, let's build a wall here. Okay. I would love to put something creative here, but like for now, I'm just gonna be simple. Simple man. And put a door here. Like, yeah, it doesn't really matter where. As long as there's no way for water to like uh, escape, then we're good. Because I'm afraid that if this became the new resting level for my water, I would have to, like, worry about this opening here instead of being able to leave it opening, uh, leave it open. Okay, so now I wanted to open this tile up and this one and that one. And I'm figuring uh, maybe I can expand it more if I have to. Doesn't seem like it's having any flooding issues at all, but you know, better safe than sorry. Are we cooking any of the drinks? We are. Swamp whiskey. Interesting. Yeah. 
There we go. So now there's two tiles for it to flow into. It's already seven out of seven in here. Nice. Not noticing any more movement though. Well, I don't know. I feel like that first one is turning a little faster, but I want the second one to turn. Whoa, wait, it actually changed a little bit. So before it was like, uh, I don't know. Okay, so it's still one out of seven over in this very far corner. Still five, six. Ugh. I just don't know if it's going to be able to flow fast enough. I mean, like, I, I should have made this river a little thinner, the canal. Hmm. <laughs> oh, well. Here's hoping uh, the extra flow is going to work out. Let's lock that door real quick. Just, you know, in case the water does end up bubbling up. Sorry, uh, guess should withdraws from society? Okay. Do you think Emush is going to grow up this year? Like, maybe she's like a, you know... She's taking a... What, what's, what's the... What's the word for when somebody comes out of high school but, like, doesn't want to immediately go for college, but does have a plan for college. Very specific circumstances, I know. The enemy has come to lay siege to my fortress. I see. I don't think anyone's even outside. Yeah, I think we can just, like, shut the door. Oh, right, hello, welcome to my fort. Bye. I mean, I might try to catch them. Hmm. Depends on if these guys even stay for dinner, let alone actually attack. That's one... Oh. Five dudes. Let's see. I'm sorry, distracted? These dudes are starting to get, like, stressed out about our fort. <laughs> they just keep coming here, but they can't even get in. The security here is, like, too tight. Uh, I'm sorry, cancel store item? Like, from, like, the origin point or from outside? Because, like, if you're outside already, I'm going to be pretty upset about it. Like, uh, we're having, like, a security problem right now. I better not be outside. Otherwise, I'm going to kick myself. Anyway, so, looking at this, uh, we've got... Everything's set up here. Let's make sure this door up here is locked. Okay, top door is locked. Let's capture a lure. Real quick. Whoever, you know, just whoever comes into the lure chamber. It's a civic duty. Ooh. Got him. Fool! There was no removal. You have been tricked into becoming the lure. <laughs> now you will pull levers for the rest of your life. Potentially, if the fort demands it. Uh, but that's a very rare circumstance. Uh, you have nothing to worry about. The draft is very frequently a, a very safe and uneventful process. Anyway, uh, open up the monkey chamber. Monkey bait chamber. We've got uh, six ghouls. Wait, five ghouls. I I wish they would have, like, come in greater numbers for me to capture. Have I unlocked, like... Okay, so I have unlocked the monkey chamber, but, like, not my fort proper. Uh, maybe I... Mm, I don't want to give my dwarves a way out. Oh, God. I saw all these guys running around. I was like, oh shit, I've made a terrible error. Are you guys coming? Like, like I mean, I made an opening and everything, guys. How many are there? One, two, you know, there's only, there's only one, three, four, but there are, there's only six. Come in, please. Like, I made a whole trap. Man, look at these guys. 
They're gonna leave. They're just gonna stand there and leave. Like they don't even want to come in. Shucks. Too bad I don't have a heavily armored military for like proper threats. All I have are uh, guards with crossbows for occasional thief, thieves, s goblin snatchers and the like. Wow. And Officer Monkey, looking like you're in luck today. Where are they? Uh-oh. Oh, never mind, they haven't gone anywhere. <laughs> they're just, they're just hanging out out here. Okay. Well, uh, you know what? Enjoy a nice hiking trip on sunny Mount Southgate. Come visit our spectacular giant wildlife. Come see our mysteriously thick tree grove in the most scorching of locales. Camp overnight. Stay for a week. We don't care. Just don't come inside. Mount Southgate. Come visit. What are these corpses even? No, it's just a bunch of kobolds. I swear this necromancer has killed every single kobold and reanimated them. Like, there's no cause for them to have this many. For me to have, like, 50 in my dungeons and, like, they keep sending more and there's tons of spies in the fortress. Oh, yo, uh, Elf Buried Slayer. Let's see if uh, six ghouls or one Buried Slayer, or, sorry, six bitter ones and one Buried Slayer, uh, which wins? I'm sorry, Etten? I mean, I guess. Sure. We're having some kind of smackdown out here. Who's that? Is that one of mine? No, that's not one of mine. Uh, you know, I mean, it's tragic for a guest to die, but uh, yeah, enjoy the Etten attack. Never mind. I mean, this Etten's kind of chill, I guess. Yep, there they come. Well, let's see who wins if uh, this Etten. But uh, yeah, kill more acts. Uh, kill more yaks, man. <laughs> yep, yep. Do you see each other? No. Well, then I gotta keep track of uh, these guys in that case. Nope, there they are. They're in the the mysteriously thick forest I mentioned. Yo, there they go. They're having a fight. Who wins? It looks like the Etten is thoroughly losing. <sighs> yeah. You really didn't play to your strengths, man. Uh, I mean, these are kobold ghouls. You can, you realize you can, like, pick them up and, like, break them in half, and that kills them, right? God, this man's really new to adventure mode. I mean, like, sure, ghoul's pretty durable, but you're the size of an Etten? Again, literally picking them up and twisting, <laughs> it's, it's gruesome, but you can do that, and it is effective. To just twist your enemies. <laughs> like, you know, wringing out a towel. Like it's, you know, some kind of, like, Tom and Jerry situation. Yo, you guys gonna, like, go after the monkey? <gasps> Maybe? No, you just gathering? Uh, well, I mean, I guess thanks for taking care of the... Uh, Eden? Bye? No? Yeah. Uh, did somebody get inside? Somebody's sharing new rumors from the outside world, and I don't know how he managed to get in. Uh, um, maybe I gotta, like, uh... Unlock a way into my fort. I thought the monkey was gonna be enough. Uh, let's see. Where's, where's the monkey? There's where the monkey is. Let's see. So... Hang on. Here's the monkey. The door to the monkey is unlocked. The door to the door to the monkey is unlocked. Um, the door to inside the fort is apparently unlocked. No, there's that door. Um, I do need to keep an eye out, though. 
because like people are going to try to come down that as well. Just keeping an eye out. Current guest shot has become a begun in a mysterious construction. Can you please feed this dude? He's upset. This poor guy. He's been in here for a hundred days. What are you doing? What are you doing? Huh? Store item in stockpile, huh? Huh? Yeah? You're gonna store that pile? Just gonna store that item in that stockpile? <laughs> nope. <laughs> Lock the door, idiot. What are you gonna do now? What are you gonna do about it? Baby idiot. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, okay. Let's see if that was enough to, like, draw the ghouls in, at least. Yo, it was a little bit. And the lure should be on duty anyway. Um, let me just check him. Yeah, he's doing fine. He's in good health. A little isolated, but... God dang it, where's... There we go. There's the tunnel I'm after. Anyone else coming along? Just, uh... Just staying out there. No, they are coming inside, but... I'm gonna wait until they get near the door, then I'm gonna lock it. Very last second. Fool! Now what will you do? Ha! <gasps> Go fuck, King! Oh no! How'd he get in? How'd they get in? Shit! I locked the door! Um, <laughs> um, um, move the guards to this position. Oh shit. Oh fuck. Um. I locked the door. Um, Officer Monkey. Um, the lure. The lure must pull one of the two levers of destiny. Which will he choose? To seal off the fort and render his kind safe, or risk the glory of the drop? I think I'll pull the gate lever in, instead of the drop. Maybe both. You know, he can choose which to pull first. He isn't pulling either one. <gasps> they can get in. Shit, I hope the I hope the guards get here. Oh. The monkey. Wait, hang on. They're they're in a fight with a goblin snatcher. I thought the monkey came in and rescued us. Can you fucking do it immediately, please? What are you doing here? That's so important. You pull levers. Pull the lever. That's your job. You pull levers. Maybe they'll sneak into, like, the... Oh, God. What do you think will happen if I uh, shut it like that? Huh? What do you think's gonna happen? What do you do? W w what? Oh god. My people are gonna die. Looks like maybe uh, these ones don't have crossbows though. Can you please shut the fucking lure door! God, I didn't know kobold invaders can break it through doors. I should have Pulled the lever way before. Um, you. Good. Good. You've made your choice. Let's hope you make the other one fast enough. Yep, well. That's not working. Okay, well. Uh, where's, where's any of the guards? I just requested them. Where's any of them? No 
looks like I'm going to have to set up a citizen's militia. Either that or the local ghouls uh, might get upset that uh, the outsider ghouls are uh, upsetting the dwarven hosts here. Or maybe my dwarves will be able to outrun ghouls so long that, like, the Benny Hill situation causes, like, mental exhaustion and they decide they aren't being, uh, they aren't invaders anymore. <laughs> I thought the monkey came up and saved us. Oh boy. Whoa, 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 whoa! Oh god! I fucking told you so! I told you that these guys were going to be trouble. Oh, the these ghoul visitors uh, turned out to be uh, traitorous. I think I might just have to, like, uh, arm people with whatever they, they can find. The military. Let's create um, a uniform. Desperation. Which includes an individual choice melee weapon. That's it. Oops, uh, da, da, da. where's the delete button? There it is. <laughs> it's D. I wasn't sure if it was uppercase or not. Anyway, position is what I was looking for. Create squad, desperation uniform, out of, uh, whoever. Out of the migrants, of course, of course. You know, you know. There's an old story about a about a foreign bobcat woman who came to a fort, decided she was so loyal, she'd die, she'd die for the fort. I'm gonna go ahead and send Itur too, uh, since Itur has like the the squad of boars behind him. Anyway, here we go. Try to send my dudes to here, see if they can grab a weapon. I'm getting the feeling we're not going to get through this one without a major tragedy. Uh, going to need to put down some more coffins. It's my bad. I, th I thought that the doors were good enough, but I suppose the invaders must have gotten wise to my tricks. Either that or I'm stupid. Hmm. Could that be me? Could I be stupid? See, we've got these guys down here. And we've got somebody dead in the waterway. And we've got these guys here. That one's just socializing. <laughs> that one's socializing urgently, this artist. I wish I could station them, like, above these guys. Perhaps I can lock these guys in here. If they- if- if my dude can get through the door fast enough. Come on. Fucking boars, dude. The fucking boar! <gasps> lock the door! Fudge. I don't think that's going to be good enough. Uh, lock these doors. See if I can quarantine these guys in here. Lock these ones. Oh, no, I can't. Due to the whole uh, cavern situation here. But I can force them to go back around to where I positioned my guards. Fortunately, we've lost a, a boar pup here. Oh, hang on. Are you a monster slayer? Oh, no. You're part of the militia. That I just created. <laughs> do you have a weapon? You do. You have one. Oh, good luck protecting our fellows here. 
Yeah, we can barely handle two ghouls. I think after this, I'm gonna like really like move ahead with my my militia plan. Like even just getting people leather armor, swords, and uh, uh, something to uh, you know wear. Yeah, leather armor, swords, and something to use as a shield. I think. Where's a mush? A mush, a mush, a mush. <gasps> a mush is in. Emush is in the throne room. I mean, in, in, in the uh, castle, whatever this is. I am locking her in through multiple levels. Oh, hang on. I should probably lock the duke in as well. Whatever. He's he's an asshole who beat up a kid, so. um, Perhaps the visitor ghouls will come in handy. Uh, Oh, yeah, I did manage to drop another ghoul. There's that, at least. Man, these trap-immune door-picking ghouls are more trouble than I expected. Man, it's been a while since I've even bothered uh, getting into the fort. I, I guess I was foolish to have underestimated them. Do you have a weapon, sir? Do you have a weapon? You fucking... You, you buffoon... Oh, that you both have crossbows. Ah, uh, all three of you have crossbows, so never mind. Uh, do you think I can lock them in here? Oh man, but there's this dude in here. A loth here. The mayor, ugh. Perhaps I just unlock the doors and let whatever happens happen, you know? My, my fort's been, like, way too stable, you know? Way too stable. You, we need to inject a little chaos into this, huh? little destruction, a little fear. Otherwise, my dwarves will become placid, pitiful, mindless like sheep. You, what are you doing, huh? Stakud? Stekud? You know, I'm... I'm really banking on, on those visitor ghouls. What are you guys doing? And a forgotten beast right now! I can't close the door! I don't have... I don't have free hands, because, like, the main room is where I put the... Oh, fuck. I put the door lever in here. Cool giant boars. What are you doing? What are you doing? Itur? You fool! You fool! Feck! Oh, there goes a chur. He was our primary boar tamer. Whoa, I didn't want all you guys to go at them fucking unarmed guys. Oh, are you at least doing it? No. No, you're fucking it up. I didn't even ask you to do this. Oh, these brave souls. These brave souls. Oh, the hospital. God, fuck. This is a massacre. Oh, we can't forget what happened here. Oh, fuck. What a heroic guard, actually. Managed to, like, wound it. Irush! The captain of the guard comes in here, seeing the slaughter, seeing the mayor getting clawed apart. Irush comes in and finally lands a blow on this thing, manages to cripple it from the waist down, but unfortunately Irush lays down his life. Who's next? Looks like the, oh god, the hallway of carnage here. Got a few giant boars wandering the fort still, those guys might come in clutch. One of them's in the fucking well. One of them's in the well. What's going on there? How are we going to fix that? <laughs> um, do we have him there forever? He's... Is that a permanent situation now? I wonder if I could have... I wonder if I could lock up here. No, because there's alternate paths as well. Holy shit. 
You know what? You know how I was just worried about getting too many dwarves for my uh, population for my uh, houses here. I think we might have to rely even more on immigrants. Oh wow! I accidentally bit my tongue a little bit. Oh shit! Where's where's the next one? Where's the last dwarf? Right, light throne. <laughs> oh, completed an artifact during this. Uh, let me look at it. Bomriklazen. On uh, on the item, there's an image of Losta Cloister Taper, the Bobcat Woman in steel. That's what you did with our steel right now, lad. That's what you did, eh? Whip tan! <laughs> Rhyolite throne. Oh. Where is the invader? I know one of them is in the hospital water cooler. Oh, fuck. God, he's in a corner. He's he's hidden. Oh man, even one of these guys does so much shit to my fort. Oh God, and I can't stop them from fighting. These guys aren't even soldiers. They're so selfless. They're so noble. I just can't get them to stop. Oh my god. Oh fuck. Yeah, a lot of help these these visitor ghouls did, yeah. Oh my god. This is another tragedy. And my poor fort just can't catch a break. We using all these for burial? We we need to. Oh god. I mean, there's been tragedies in this fort before, you know, like, a poor fucking Emush is, like, still trying to figure out how she feels about, like, having to drink vomit when she was a kid. And, and then here comes this, right on when, like, Emush is about to turn into an adult, two ghouls, two ghouls manage to make it into the fort and slaughter Half the population. We have 52 people. Among them, many ch children still survive, somehow. I don't know what it is about the kids in these fort, but this fort, but they're, like, blessed. Oh, the mayor survived? What? Oh, it's a new one. Oh, shush is really dead. I'm not feeling sad right now. I was rescued. I am so grateful. Oh, God. Oh, God. The hospital. Oh, God. Look at how dense this, this thought train is. Oh, no. Enjoyment playing make-believe. Uh, blissful, remembering sleeping in a good room. Superior item. Uh, here's one that actually... Guilty, being able to rest and recuperate. Afraid, experiencing trauma, hopeless, suffering and injury. Man, lots of negative thoughts around my fort. Oh my god! Nobody's actually that upset. Look at the happiness meter in the lower right. How? Man, that waterfall was a really good idea. Jesus. Got lots of bodies to bury. Yeah, lots of people being found dead. How many people of the uh three people who I told to grab a weapon survived? I wonder if they ever managed to. Do do do. Sorry, got music stuck in my head. Oof. Three. Three. Oh my god. I'm gonna leave these guys to like recover for a while. No guard duty for a, a while. Oh wow. <laughs> Ooh. 
We didn't even kill one of these guys. They're just hanging out in our in our well. How's the forgotten beast looking? Uh oh. Oh, phew. That one looks like it's capable of being injured. Did that one kill the last one? Oh. Oh, well, that's useful. This one seems like it can actually take damage. A uh, great kvet. What's a kvet? Kvet. Oh, it's like uh, some kind of like... Uh, looks like maybe like an African version of a weasel. Maybe? Let's see. Nocturnal mammal... Native to tropical Asia and Africa, especially tropical forests. Um, well, I mean, it looks like approximately what I just described. You know, it's got like uh, hyena patterns and, and it's like the body shape of a weasel. You can probably figure out what it looks like. Uh, a kivet with lidless eyes undulates rhythmically. Its eyes glow golden yellow. Its azure hair is long and straight and reminds me... Man, it reminds me of, uh, you know, I was talking about Over the Garden Wall, but there's like the, there's like a corrupted dog in it. I'm sorry, that's not an open... Okay, I thought that was an open space because it was darker for a second. I'm definitely sure having a ghoul in the well is probably going to make people really sick, realistically. I mean, like, oh god, I accidentally let the episode run too long, I'm sorry. I got excited about the fucking incident, dude. Got to write, uh, I gotta like write an incident report now. Something went down.